I mean, this is going to be strange because I never did a video like this before. But I'm going to try to do a right hand rule video to explain um, how to do the right hand rule. There's basically three different cases of the right hand rule. And uh, this is the best camera angle that I could get, so hopefully it works. It's better than nothing, anyhow. But um, there's three cases. Case one is for uh, magnetic force on a, a charge or a current. Okay? So let's just see some examples of how this uh, example of the right hand rule works. So suppose you have an XY plane and you have a let's just do a positive charge for now. You have a positive charge moving in the positive X direction. You have a magnetic field moving say up. What is the direction of the magnetic force, um, magnetic force on this charge? To do this, you point your right, using your right hand, not your left hand, your right hand, and it's the right hand rule. You um, point your fingers in the direction of the velocity. So, I mean, they could be like this, they could be like this, they could be like this, you just, but you just start pointing your fingers in the direction of V, right? The blue one, V. Okay. Then you face your palm in the direction of the magnetic field. Now my the magnetic field is going up, so I'm going to face my palm up so that it's facing up, but I'm still keeping my fingers facing to the right, uh, basically in the positive x direction. When you do this, your thumb points up towards the ceiling, which is the positive z direction, and your thumb gives you direction of, the, of your of the magnetic force on this charge. So. For this one, FB is positive Z direction, right? That's how that works. Now what if you have something like this? Let's do another example. Suppose you have, I'll do a, a few examples, right? So suppose you have um, a charge moving, say, up the page, and you have a B field, say, going to the left. No, oh, sorry. Let's make it going to the right. Okay, this is still a positive charge, right? You do the same thing. You take your fingers and you face towards V. So there's lots of ways your hand can face towards V with your fingers pointing up. Like this, like that. Anything like this works. But the B gives you, you know, finishes it off. So you have to face your uh, palm in the direction of B. Now if I put my hands like this, my, my palm is facing to the left, but I want it to face to the right. So I have to flip my hand around for it to face to the right, my palm here. And when I do that, my thumb is pointing down or in the negative Z direction. So this would be um, negative Z. I'll do one more example of things in the XY plane with a negative charge. So suppose you have this. Um, suppose you have a negative charge moving down and suppose B is like this. It's not even... Uh, no, no. Let's put it on this side here. Suppose B is like this. Okay, well let's start by finding the right hand rule direction for this. Okay, so you face your fingers down, which is kind of hard to do, I admit. And so your fingers down would be anything like this. I mean, it's, it's hard to do, right? You can rotate the paper so it's easier to do. I can't rotate this because it's going to go out of the frame of the camera, the video camera. But anyhow, you face your fingers down. Then you point in your, then you point your uh, palm in the general direction of B, which is basically like this. See, B is going this way. If you pointed your hand like this, with your, then it would mean B is going this way, but see B is going to the left. It's to the left of V, so you have to face, you have to ro rotate your palm so it's to the left. When you do that, the uh, magnetic, f sorry, not the magnetic force, the right hand rule gives you a direction of minus Z, the same as the last one we just did. Right? The same as this one, actually. So the right hand rule direction. is minus Z, but uh, FB 
is positive z because q is negative. I don't know if you can read that from the video, but the point is the charge is negative, therefore you have to flip the direction. So the magnetic force on this would be out of the page, going like this, straight up at the ceiling. Let's do some other examples of using this with um, the fields that are either in the negative z or positive z direction, right? Or even, we can even do another one where v is in the positive or negative z and v is in the xy plane to make it interesting. But let's just stick with uh, v in the positive or negative y direction. So suppose you have this situation here. You have a v field in the negative z. That's what these x's mean. And you have a magnetic force, uh, sorry, a charged uh, positive q going to the left or negative x direction. Now this one's kind of hard, you just have to contort your hand, but still, you want your, uh, sorry, you want your fingers to face in the direction of v, which is this way, right? So once again, any, any of these directions is fine for now, because your hand's facing, uh, your fingers are pointing to the left. But now we want our, th our um, palm to face in the negative z direction, which is into the page. So you want your palm to face down towards the V field, which is down. So when you face your palm down like this, this is really hard to do, but there, your thumb is basically pointing down, see, in the negative Y direction. So therefore, the magnetic force on this thing would be in the negative Y direction. Let's do another example for a negative charge. So suppose you had a field coming out now. Now the field's coming up at you towards the ceiling. In other words, if you're looking above the page, it's hitting you in the face. It's coming straight up from the page, from the face to to uh, straight up from the page to your face. In other words, towards the ceiling. Okay. Now. That's the B field. Now suppose you have a negative charge going uh, straight up in the positive Y direction. Once again, for negative charges, you first have to find the direction using the right-hand rule and then flip the direction that you get. Um, so you, you point your fingers in the direction of V because V is going up, so you point your fingers up once again, any one of these configurations is still pointing your fingers up. But then you get to fix um, the rotation of your palm to the um, direction of B, which is up. So if I put my fingers like this, my hands are facing down. Uh, my palm is facing down. But I don't want to face down because the B field is coming up. So if I place my palm up, then it's in the direction of the B field. And if I do that, my thumb is basically pointing to the right, or in the positive x direction. So this is the right hand rule direction, positive x. This is a negative charge, so it's not positive x, it's positive, it's negative x. Okay? So for this case, fb would be negative x. Alright? Um, now, let's do one that I don't think we even did in class. Suppose the velocity is coming in the negative or positive x z direction, and the B field somewhere in the xy plane, either in the x or y direction. Let's do one of those to see how that works out.